I created a to-do and a tic-tac-toe app in Flutter without writing the code for it. Instead, I used a new upcoming Gitter project called AdaChat, a command line tool that allows you to write and edit code using OpenAI's GPT models. AdaChat is able to work across files and understand the context of your code by creating a map of your entire Git repository using universal C tags. In this video, I show you how to set up AdaChat on a Windows machine. First of all, we need Python. Don't forget to add the python.exe to path. Once Python is installed, we can use the package manager pip to install AdaChat. And if you don't already have it installed, you also need Git. Log in to OpenAI with your account and generate a new API key. Next, create an environment variable for the API key. Now you should be able to use AdaChat. You will be shown the model used and whether a GitHub repo was detected. The next steps are optional and only necessary if you want to use the full potential of AdaChat. If you start AdaChat inside a GitHub repo, you will see the following message unless you have Universal CTEX installed. There are several ways to install the Universal CTEX. The easiest, in my opinion, is via the package manager Chocolately. In the installation instructions, there's a command that you can execute either via CMD or PowerShell to install Chocolately. Once Chocolately is installed, you can use it to install the Universal CTEX. If everything has worked, AdaChat should show you the following information. Here's a small example of what working with AdaChat can look like. Enter a slash to see all commands. With add, you can add files to the chat. Your subsequent requests will then refer to these files. With drop, you can remove files from the chat to use as few tokens as possible for each request. First, I have added the main.dart to the chat and then asked AdaChat to create a simple to-do app. Since AdaChat is GPT-powered and the model's data sets only last until September 2021, AdaChat may generate outdated code accordingly. For example, instead of the new text buttons, the long outdated flat buttons were used. No Material 3 design is used and null safety errors can also occur. Next, I asked AdaChat to better highlight which to-dos are done. AdaChat then added a text style to the text so that completed to-dos are always crossed out. I noticed that you can also add empty to-dos. That's why I asked AdaChat to prevent this, which worked perfectly. Then I wanted to make to-dos deletable and AdaChat managed this without any problems. But even more complicated things like making the to-dos reordable were not too difficult for AdaChat. I find it very impressive what AdaChat is already capable of at this early stage and I am very excited to find out what else is possible. If you have already had experiences with AdaChat, I would be very happy to hear about it. Feel free to write me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for your attention and see you soon.